What's up everybody, welcome back to Scars and Whiskey, and today we have a treat for you. It's another shop review. Uh, it's a place called Smoke and Joe. It's here in Phoenix, up towards uh, Cave Creek, North Phoenix, uh, but it's a great shop. I've uh, been in here a couple times now, and again, the more guys I meet in the cigar industry, the cooler they are. Uh, the guys who have shops, they definitely take a passion in everything they do. And that's great to see because that's what I want to experience when I have a cigar, to know the passion that they have and know that they really, they stand behind everything they sell. And if they don't like it, unfortunately, they're not going to have it. But, you know, the cigar industry is like that. If you haven't experienced a lot of shops, uh, you may not know that. You may say, hey, my shop's great. I like the local guys. But you find nine times out of ten, most of the shops, they're like that. They're cool. You can hang out. Uh, meet them, learn a lot about their business, and figure out, you know, what they do different than everybody else. And everybody has a niche. In the Phoenix area, there's like 60 cigar shops that do their thing, so a little bit of competition, but man, they will help each other out. I mean, if they don't carry it, they send you to the other guy across town or down the street that has it, and that's what I like, especially as a guy who doesn't know cigars as well as some. I like the fact that if I don't know where it is, these guys will steer me the right way. So we'll be right back with more of our review today. Stay tuned. Hope you like this video. All right, everybody, as you can see, uh, when you first come in, he's got a full uh, coffee bar. So definitely anything you want to drink, he's got. Now, again, the, the brand that he is featuring is a local roastery of Cave Creek. You know, it's been good being able to promote the, the local roaster here, roaster oh, yeah. Cape Creek. And like you said, uh, having a local product that you, you know you know is a good quality and something that you can be proud of having in your shop. Absolutely, it's a very it's organic coffee. First of all, it's a very high end coffee. Um, a lot of high end restaurants here in town use only their coffee, and so it, I'm pretty proud of having it here. You know, it's ROC Square, Roaster of Cape Creek. Yeah, like I said I've heard of them. I've never had their coffee until today, so... Well, what do you think, honestly? I like it. I'm not one, though, that covers it up. I want to taste the coffee. So a little bit of cream is good with me. I just, people put too much sugar and stuff on there. It's just like you're really not getting the it's coffee. It's purist. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just like cigars. I don't want all that foo-foo added yeah. enough nonsense. I want to be able to taste what this cigar was blended for. Uh, if you haven't had it, from I understand, a lot of the restaurants carry it. It's a real premium product, and so... Definitely uh, something to try. See, he's got the, uh, it's a non-smoking uh, coffee area. He's got some of the merchandise they sell here. Uh, humidors, ashtrays, lighters, all the stuff you need for a humidor. CRA, everybody needs to be a member. Cigar Rights of America. There you go. If you're a cigar smoker, you need to be a member. It's like the NRA for cigars. Right. And then you got uh, right back there through those double doors is the actual private club, but it's actually the cigar lounge. All right, everybody, check this out. This is the coolest thing I think Bill's got out of most of the cigar shops here in the valley. He's got this, as you can see, it's a lounge. He's got TVs. He's got some great artwork of uh, different cigar brands, some stuff he's collected privately over the last few years. Uh, He's got a bar over here. They got a grill, but the grill's not normally inside, it's outside. He's got a patio outside those doors there where they do events and functions, which is kind of cool. He's got the uh, the poker table. On Tuesdays, they do poker. Uh, and this is kind of like the VIP special lounge. You can see here he's got his uh, lockers for his members. He's got some really cool stuff. If you look here, he's got uh, uh, the My Fathers. They got their own personal locker here they use when they're in the valley and at the location he's got some uh, different celebrities and then here he's got his humidor so let's go ahead and go on in and check this out and as you can see in here uh, they got a lot of great cigars you got gray gray cliff you got some of the Opus X, but as you can see, they just got a few left. You know it's a popular brand. You got some of the old Monte Cristo. 
some of the CAO brand down here. Carries the Perdoma, very good cigar. These ones here, uh, very interesting, Chinooks uh, Cellars. Now, if you're not familiar, Chinooks Cellars is a, uh, is a wine manufacturer in Napa, and the owner has decided he's gonna carry some premium cigars that he's matched up with uh, different, uh, different flavors and profiles. Actually had uh, this one here today, which is a phenomenal cigar. Thanks again, Bill, for that. I appreciate it, it was really good. But Brian Chinock from Chinock Cellars, who has the Terroir, which I'm about to light up. You got the Pressoir, there's the Cremois, and then his top of the line is the XOXO, which is the uh, Infused with Louis XIII. Fantastic cigar. Presentation is phenomenal. It's only five sticks to a box. Each stick is in a glass tube. The top of the glass tube is actually sealed like a wine bottle. Oh, that's cool. He's in the wine business. You know, he's got Chinock Cellars wine, which is very high-end wine. You gotta know him to get it. It's right. One of those deals. That's awesome. So it's, it's very cool. So this uh, Friday, the 29th of January, Brian will be here. We're doing a meet and greet and we have a Chinook Cellar cigar event. It's a Friday night, kind of a happy hour thing, four to seven. As you can see, he carries the My Father and has all of those. As all of us know now, My Father definitely a uh, top performer definitely made some reviews this year some top of the top picks you can see he's got a lot of uh, Tatuahi he's got different uh, cigar brands Padron so as you can see the humidor is not massive but it is uh, well stocked and well diverse so if you're looking for uh, a stick and you're not sure Again, as I've always said in all these reviews, ask the staff, that's what they're here for. Don't feel intimidated that you don't know what a cigar tastes like or you're not sure what the profiles are gonna be. They, that's why they're here. If you happen to know a stick you like, you enjoy, you want something similar, you want something different in those brands, if they have it, check it out. Got some Arturo Fuente up here, some Olivia. You know, we got a lot of good looking sticks in this uh, shop. All right, everybody, that's it. That's our review today. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. I'll see you next time.